The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Funko Games. Hello and welcome to another special unboxing episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. Megan, what are we opening today? We are going to open up Pan Am. This is from Funko Games and designed by Prospera Hall. We really like their games. Yeah, and I've already had a chance to play this game uh, once, so uh, I think you're probably going to like this game. But let's just open it up because it's got neat little airplanes in it. Well, I like the TV show, so we'll see. So you have the classic Pan Am logo it's on the front. It's actually really cool. I like that. You got the airplanes. That one's there. named Clipper, apparently. Yeah, show you the back there. Includes 52 airplanes. And you can see they're all different sizes. That's kind of cool. Ooh, I like how everything's very much in the retro. Oh, actually, look at that. It's kind of cool, too. First yeah. of all, it's polka dots, which is the logo. It's this cool. game reminds me of the movie, uh, the Tom Hanks, Leonardo DiCaprio movie, Catch Me If You Can. Oh, yeah? Because it was, well. Was it you can about it Pan Am-ish? Yeah, it, it was, was the TV show Pan Am. It didn't last very long. It had Margot Robbie in it. And you've played this before. I have much. played this before. Cool. I do. I like all the artwork on this already. It's very vintagey. It is. That's also the appeal of it. I know. I think that's cool. Airports, resolutions, Pan Am phase, expansion example. Ooh. And end of round, end of game, and clarification. Alrighty. Yeah, it's not a big board. It's kind of big. Uh, not it's really. It's not terribly big, but it's bigger than a, like, you know, two by two. Looks like we got it upside down. I do. That might help if we look <laughs> at it the right way. There we go. Well, I guess it is a little bit bigger than what I was thinking. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger. All right. So we've got some different countries here. Yeah, so you're going to be uh, claiming routes between cool. places. And Pan Am is actually going to be buying up routes. Mm. And you're going to have this little die you're going to roll. And you you can see that these routes have different uh, symbols. symbols on them. Uh, so that's how you know which ones that Pan Am is buying. That's kind of cool. I like that. And you'll also notice that... Scroll down. Scroll, scroll down. Scroll down. <laughs> uh, move the board down here a little bit. So if you're familiar with the game uh, Artemis Project, yes, that game, basically, you resolve things on the board in order. And you do the same with this. So you've got A, airports, B, destinations, C, planes up there and you've got d routes and e objectives directives directives yeah yes. <laughs> that's really cool though what is your prime directive Ooh, so these are plastic wrapped let you open those i like this um insert though it's really nice so everything has a spot and you were just saying little things Yep, yeah, got bins for the That's planes. actually really cool. It'll come with that. So each, there are uh, four colors yes, for each player. Yellow, like army green. It does have green. It does have green. Kind of maroon and gray. I don't know, it might be maroon. Maroon's kind of cool. But gray's not bad. Well, if you choose maroon, are you going to be you know, the big maroon. rig? The big rig Pat Maroon. Pat Maroon. Yeah. Former St. Louis Blue, who is... Uh, also a St. Louis, Louis native. Yes. And uh, no, he's Tampa. Right? He's Camp Tampa Bay Lightning now. Yep. Which is your other? <laughs> it's like my alternate team. team. Yeah. Uh, so here we have each of the different player boards here. So the yellow is the Aero Cosmopolitan. The Grand Olympian Air is the maroon. Trans Imperial Airways is the gray, and then you would be Premier Interglobal. Yeah, because we're basically these other airlines that we want Pan Am to buy up our routes. That's kind of cool. So here you have your round sequence, so it tells you right there your income and your fleet. So it's kind of nice. The back is just their solid color. You've got some punch outs there of the plastic. Yeah, so uh, let's see, we got, there and see there's the Pan Am mm -hmm. little tokens there and the first player. And then of 
over here we have some more tokens yeah these are basically going to cover up spots on the board this is you were talking about kind of the retro look yeah see how it looks like it was stamped on there it does yeah, yeah. that's really cool and you're going to look at these uh, other cards that we have and you're going to see that these as are well. just so cool look at that here's this die though which i pulled out which is really cool while you open the other plastic wrapped items so that's kind of cool the old logo um, that looks like different routes, I'm assuming. That corresponds to the board. That's Yeah, that's what I would have thought, yeah. So that's kind of cool. They're all engraved in there. So that's nice. Yeah. We've got some cards. These are the stock cards. So you want to have stock. Cool. So these are all fives. And feel that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. It's Very got nice. a really nice finish on there. Mm -hmm. so, then we, so we have fives and ones. These are cool. But you can see the back there. Ooh, different color. Yeah. Uh, no, they're not different colors. They're same colors. Oops. Yeah, I mean, but that's blue. I think the fives are a little bit different. And the fives are a different color? Yeah, the fives are black. Fives are black. Yep. All right, so here, while you open up the other plastic y craft ones, I'm going to show off some of these finger bits. Actually, I'm just going to dump them in the tray so I can show them off a little bit better. My hands are small. Yeah, so you can see all of those player colors fit in one of the wells. So yeah, these are really cool looking. So you've got that one. So they're a little bit different. These are really cool. They're a little bit unique. I don't know what some of these bits are though. Those are airports. Yeah, oh, it is like the tower. I see yeah. it now. So I can't really figure out what that was. You've got a couple of those. And then some little planes there. Yeah, those are really cool looking. Yeah, so you have four different sizes of planes. Uh, ones, twos, threes, and fours. And, and is this your player marker? Uh, that is your worker. That's your worker? Yeah. It's an interesting little thing. All right, so there's that. You've got some more cards there. Yeah, so here are the destination tickets. You can see the back there and then these are going to be the cities that are on the board that is and really you'll notice cool. that they have different colors because the board is broken out into colors for it each is. section or thing bogota karachi i like how they're all like vintage travel posters yeah too. and they've they're also really got cool, the um, symbol. symbols on there so you know you always like to point out uh, uh colorblind issues is, so you yeah. have symbols on there so you got hong kong week so these are like Asia San things Fran. in there, San Francisco, Tokyo. These are really Lisbon. cool. They're all a little unique as well. So that's yeah, really cool. They're, they're really cool. I like those. And you're going to be trading these in um, or showing these so you can claim routes. That's cool. And then we also have directive cards here. You can see the back there. And the directive cards are going to give you certain things. Like this one is, you can buy one stock at no cost. So that's right. buying stock... Uh, because stock prices go up and down each round, mm. and you don't know which way it's going to go. So again, so there's a the little stamp. stamp. That's like typewriter font there. Yeah, look at the top four cards of the destination deck. Keep one and discard the rest. Uh, sell a plane in your fleet for four dollars. Nice. Uh, when resolving your engineer, pay two dollars to place an airport. Yeah, sounds really and cheap to sell a plane for four bucks. Well, I should you know, buy some planes. That was back, you know, back in the day. Four but bucks. But again, see, you got. Like this D was stamped on there. That's cool. Um, I, I just love that little detail mm -hmm. uh, on the theming. I think that's so awesome. Yeah. Again, it's those little things that are really cool. So another really cool thing about this game is the replayability because you're going to be playing over seven rounds. Ooh. So you'll see you're going to have an event for each round. But guess what? You're only going to use one card for that round in each game. Oh, nice. So you have multiple cards so you're always going to have different, uh, different, yeah, different combinations. That's cool. So you can see rounds five, four, three, and all that. But you can see this again is, like is retro. Yeah, exactly. 1929. That's cool. The year. So yeah, you're going to start off early, and then you're going to keep advancing. Build your fleet. Um, and it'll tell you where your stock price is going to be, um, how your expansion, how many times you're going to roll the dice, figure out what they're going to be doing. So you can see. Oh, they even have little news blurbs, and they're all a little different. Yeah. With some, like, airplane facts and stuff. So That's cool. long-distance travel. You can learn as you play this. Yeah. Transatlantic, round-the-world service, world recovery. So, 
jet prototype. Ooh. These are really cool. Yeah, these are really neat. I like this game already, just for the look of the, all of the components alone. Yeah. It looks really cool. And those will go there. Yep. Oops. And I guess that's it. Yeah. I'll pretty much just punch, punch out the little things, put them in a baggie, and put them right there, yeah. and we're good to go. So that is Pan Am from Prospero Hall and Funko Games. Yep. And we will catch you guys next time. Bye. If you would like to support us, you can visit patreon.com slash dadvdaughter. Like and follow us on Facebook to stay current on our show schedule, sneak peeks at future shows, and to interact with us.